channel and if you're new welcome I'm glad you're here all right y'all so this is a highly rescued uh, highly rescued <laughs> highly requested video a lot of you when I hauled my uh it's one of my 21 days of beauty haul I hauled this because the brush was half off and a lot of you said you wanted to see it. it's the uh, it cosmetics airbrush smoothing foundation number 102 and if you remember, I did a video featuring this brush as well, the A Cosmetics Airbrush Blurring Foundation number 101, and this brush is amazing. Haven't used it in a while, but when I did, it's just so good. I love it. So today, I'm going to try out this one for you guys, because I know you guys have been dying to see it, and I've been dying to use it too, so... And I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Perfector Blurring Skin Tint again. I don't know that I've used it more than once, so I'm just going to try it out again. I don't want anything super full coverage today because, you know, why not? And since it is still a little bit too dark for me, I'm going to be using my NYX Pro Foundation Mixer. And my um, L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. And... Uh, because I don't remember if I used it with it the last time or if I didn't. I don't know. Okay, so before we get into this video, I'm going to have y'all go ahead and hit that big old red subscribe button down below and the notification bell right next to it. And that way y'all can always be notified of my uploads, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So come on back to my channel on those days for new content and hit the notification bell. That way you don't miss one. Alright y'all, so without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to mixing this up, I guess. And like I said, it is still a little bit too dark for me. So, I guess so we'll be mixing stuff up. Hope I didn't make that too dark. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, I think that'll work. Now, I guess I need to open up the brush. I should have done this before, but I guess it's okay. And I do want to say that I really appreciate the fact that they send you one of these to store your brushes in that way they stay in the same form that they should be i really like that okay so let's uh get into this this is what the brush looks like it's more of a, a paddly type thing so we'll see how this does okay i have already primed my face using the mac fix plus so let's go ahead and take some of this And I do have a damn beauty blender just in case I need it, but. Okay. Wow, that blended in really quickly. Wow, I don't know about y'all, but that really, I think that really, uh, blended that in very naturally. Like, wow. Like, you can't even tell I'm wearing anything, but it definitely, uh, of course, I already thought that I liked this, though, because it does have the blurring effect, and it really, that looks really good. And I don't know why I'm shocked that I think I like this, because I really liked the other one, too, so... I'm thinking I might try this with my concealer too. And for concealer, I'm going to keep it natural with this CC cream. Let us see. Oh, 
Well, it's harder to get to do the concealer with the with this brush. Harder than I thought it would be. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if we can build up this uh, this stuff. But when I say build it up, I don't mean like put a ton on there. Just to, I just want to see what it does. And to test that brush a little bit more. Okay, what do we think after it was built up? Mm, I think I might like a more sheer application of that, not so much built up. It it doesn't look bad, but I don't know. I'll go back in with the beauty blender and. Of course, this is not exactly a, a video about uh, the skin tint. Okay, well that definitely helps, so. Okay, so first impressions, I really like this brush. It's a little bit smaller than the other one, obviously. Let me show you the difference. This one's a little bit more tapered and just uh, more precise, I guess. I don't know, but. Um, and, uh, but it's still, still did pretty good, I think. I'm so sorry if you can hear my dogs. But I don't know if I next time would uh, build up that skin tint because it, I guess it's just meant to be more of a um, skin tint, <laughs> sheer coverage. So, but it doesn't look bad, especially after I went in with the uh, the beauty blenders. So, Aroka Doki. Okay, y'all, so I guess I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup, and I guess I will talk to you guys in a few minutes. Okay, y'all, so I'm finished, and I'm back with the rest of my makeup, and, um, that was my tongue, I apologize. <laughs> Anyways, so, I really think that I've enjoyed this brush, um, don't know why I'm shocked, because of the matter of fact that, um, I really, I love the other it brush that I have, and I kind of want more, but, um, yeah, what do y'all think about the rest of it? I think everything went on pretty good. The second time that I went in with that, um, the skin tint, I did have to go in with my beauty blender, but it's okay. Um, I just think that this was really good and it applied very naturally, and I wonder how it would be if it was more of a full coverage. I might use it next time with my CC cream, I don't know. But yeah, I think it looked pretty good. I think I like this brush so far, and I think I would highly recommend it. Uh, if you want to see more videos with the, featuring this brush, let me know down below. But yeah, so far I think I like it. And I need to play with them a little bit more though. Because I'm, yeah. Alright, so I guess that is the end of this one. And I guess I will talk to you guys later. Um, yeah, please don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button on your way back out. On your way back out. On your way out. And, and the notification bell. And that way you can always be notified of my uploads. Which are every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So, coming back to my channel on those days for new content. And, yeah. I guess I will talk to you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you later. Bye. Oh my gosh, y'all. 
I'm sorry that you've seen this shirt a couple of times already because I am pre-filming a few videos and yeah so and I'm sorry about the weather it is stormy here and yeah but I need to film a few videos so here we are